texting, Tinder, or meeting people at bars? Romances and video games are free from the terrible, terrible things we do to find a partner in real life. Let's go. In this list, we honor 10 legendary video game couples that surprised us, my hero, gave us faith, I've been trying so hard, and spanned generations. I've waited so long. Number one. Mortal Kombat. Sonya Blade and Johnny Cage. Ripping out spines and reducing enemies to ashes doesn't stop romance for the characters in the Mortal Kombat universe. With death always near, there have been a few long-lasting romances in the Mortal Kombat series. Liu Tang and Katana were close though. Their casual flirting in the battle arena led to an actual marriage proposal by Katana. Liu Kang, however, declined. I will not. Whether this had to do with a father-in-law that's the embodiment of evil, Shao Kahn is your father? Or a wife that chops people in half with fans? We'll never know. But our favorite deadly duo must be Sonya Blade and Johnny Cage. Unbearably arrogant movie star Johnny Cage saw his advances rejected multiple times when they first met. But despite Sonya being often preoccupied with work, in the end, she saw the man behind the sunglasses. And by Mortal Kombat 10, the two got married. Can you imagine the wedding ceremony? A picturesque pit of lava? Goro in his custom forearm tuxedo? And a heartfelt toast by the toasty guy. Considering Sonya's favorite spot to punch a man, it might surprise you to hear that the two had a healthy daughter named Cassie Cage. She followed in her mother's footsteps to become a warrior that protects Earth. Unspeakable violence. What a family business to take over. Your mother wears army boots. Captain Keys. Number two, Master Good Chief and Cortana. You, Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. Faceless, cybernetically enhanced super soldier and artificial intelligence with a holographic projection of a woman in the year 2552? Sleep well. Very 2019. The relationship between Master Chief and Cortana began as flirty quips in Halo Combat Evolved, but by Halo 4, their relationship became the centerpiece of the story, as well as saving the Earth or, or whatever. In Halo 4, Cortana was experiencing rampancy. If we can just get back to Earth and find Halsey, she can fix this. A state where AIs past their shelf life begin to think themselves to death. Master Chief, the hopeless romantic, put himself on a mission to save his girl or forever be banished to a realm of Ceres and Alexas, helping him make shopping lists. That's not going to happen. We don't know what's in store next for these two, but forgive us if we expect it to be a little bit like that scene from her. Cortana. You were up there a long time. Oh, I was researching something. Number three, Nathan Drake and Elena Fisher. Using the word roller coaster to describe <laughs> Nathan Drake and Elena Fisher's relationship may be a huge understatement. Hey, are you happy? But searching for treasure and murdering hundreds of bad guys over the course of four games will strengthen any relationship. And don't let any couple's counselor tell you differently. Here, <clears throat> give me a hand with this. What we love about Nathan and Elena is that even at their most domestic, they're utterly charming and more believable than most of the relationships we see here at the Zoom and Games office. With the peaceful end to Uncharted 4, we hope that Nathan and Elena can live together in harmony. But with the world's love for sequels, who knows, they could be off on another relationship testing adventure in Uncharted 5, The Lucky Penny. Number 4, Aiko and Yorda. Aiko and Yorda share an intimacy we don't usually see in games. They don't talk much, or at all really. Aiko has to shepherd Yorda around everywhere. She is completely helpless to contribute through much of the game. In what would feel empty and unsubstantial in most games, Aiko and Yorda develop a rich bond through tiny yet powerful interactions. It isn't through the minimalism of design that we become so invested in their story. But also, Aiko has horns and therefore he's a bad boy, so who doesn't like a bad boy? Okay, next! Number 5, Mass Effect. Commander Shepard and the entire galaxy. In lieu of picking a single romance for Commander Shepard, here's a montage of female and male shepherds and their slew of sexual conquests. This is your official smutty spoiler alert. Number 
Number 6, The Legend of Zelda, Link and Princess Zelda. To casual fans, this would be one of the more obvious game romances, but all is not as it seems in Hyrule at first glance. This relationship has been going on since 1986. It's transcended time, space, and consoles. Though Link and Princess Zelda are unmistakably connected, their relationship isn't always a romantic one. In some of the many reincarnations, the two aren't even acquainted. And even where Zelda and Link could be inclined to form a duo, there's always Ganon to mess things up. Unfortunately, Link doesn't seem to be interested in accepting Ganon into his love life, but it's called the Triforce Bro, not the Biforce. Only in the Minish Cap, Ocarina of Time, Spirit Tracks, and Skyward Sword is there an indication of romantic feelings between the two. That's not too many taking into account the 19 Zelda games. What do you think? Is it just the strong relationship between a princess and her knight? Or is it a friend zone so large that just one dimension can't contain it? Number 7, Metal Gear Solid 2, Raiden and Rose. Metal Gear Solid's 2 Raiden, the sexiest spy there is, surely must be a confident ladies man. Q naked jump kicks. But his relationship is one of the darkest on this list. Rosemary and Jack, their real names, met in front of Federal Hall in New York. A week later, they found out they worked at the same military base by coincidence and ended up in a relationship. Two years later, Rose replaced Jack's data analyst who got injured just before the mission by coincidence. Their relationship was a turbulent one due to Raiden being closed off and Rose pushing him to open up. Though this strain possibly came about from Jack's past as a child soldier. During the mission of Metal Gear Solid 2, Rose reveals she was actually a spy all along for the Lali Lulelu and even got pregnant with his child. After the mission, Raiden forgives the betrayal and the couple lives together for a while. But Raiden's past keeps haunting him and Rose lies about a miscarriage and eventually Raiden moves to be alone in Alaska. Rose then marries Raiden's old commander, Colonel Campbell, driving Raiden to lose his marbles and go full cyborg ninja. After the events of Metal Gear Solid 4, it is revealed that Rose and Campbell only married to protect Rose and Raiden's secret son from the Lale Lulilo. After all of this, they finally find a way to live together as a stable couple. We're not sure if this relationship will last, but Raiden is a good, good dude. Beauty and the Beast. I will defeat Sin. Number 8, Final Fantasy, Titus and Yuna. Final Fantasy has had many love stories, like the love triangle between Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith in Final Fantasy VII, and the love line segments between Garnet and Zidane and Renoa and Squall. But our pick here has to be for Titus and Yuna. That's right. A bittersweet story of sacrifice and devotion, and getting PlayStation trophies for making out in the water and sky. What we love about this story is, spoiler alert, Titus's final sacrifice for Yuna. We knew that Yuna had to die in defeating Sin, the game's antagonist, but when Titus took on a bit of her willingness to put everyone first, and in turn chose to sacrifice himself for her, we definitely had a bit of a I'm not crying, you're crying moment. Number 8, Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. Act 1, they meet. Act 2, the chase. Act 3, Junior. In three quick acts, Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man go from two fairly identical strangers to a couple bound together with a child. We've all seen couples that end up being the same person, but watching these two take it to a whole nother level. They both spend all day in a maze, they both love eating delicious yellow little pixels, and they both spend all their free time with ghosts. One wonders what would come from a DNA test. Would that explain why they both had the same last name before meeting? Would it help explain why they are so similar and why I needed this website from GeoCities to help me figure out how they're different? If any of you start a GoFundMe to find out about these heart brushing issues, let us know so we can donate. Number 10. Super Mario Bros. Mario and Peach. Mario has been perpetually freeing Peach from kidnapping since the debut of Mario Bros. in 1985. My, that's a long time to be chasing someone. We assume that in between games, they spend some time together alone, but no one can say for sure. 
We at Zoom and Games are frankly a bit afraid for Mario, and that perhaps he is in this friend zone loop with Peach choosing to get in Bowser's fire red convertible with the top down every time Mario gets too close. But for now, it looks like they like to share hobbies, spend time with friends, whether it's kart racing, tennis, golf, or stealing stars in Mario Party. Let's just hope all this social time can lead to some quality alone time too. From ideal relationships to interdimensional friend zones, video game couples often go to extremes to reach their hashtag relationship goals. Luckily, as a gamer, you don't have to slay moblins for real to make Princess Zelda your bae. Which gaming character would you slay monsters for? Let us know in the comments.